I am Dado, and today we talk about reflections in the eye. Catching the mood and the spirit of a moment can be one of our prime tasks. A task for the hunter, the stalker, the voyeur, the documentarist. Yet in another approach in our wonderful profession, we pay more attention to creating a mood to transport emotion. Light is an essential ingredient or tool. Light can be found or created in many different characters. Hard, soft, reflected and in many variations of noticeable or unnoticeable shades and colors. To sense or even understand the nature or even the many characters of light may not be easy. Light is invisible. It often escapes definition. What we can see is merely the reflection of light. And then there is its powerful companion, the dark side, the shadow. It can appear in hardly noticeable gentle transitions or in surgical incisions. Maybe shadows are even more powerful in the creation and transport of depth and imagination. Looking at a face, the structure, the expression will enter our imagination. Lighting is essential to enhance or support those impressions. Inadequate lighting can be destructive. Moods and emotions will also be transported by the nearly unnoticeable micro-mimic under the skin. But today, let us talk about one aspect which can also contribute much to the transport of emotions, the eye. So here it is, looking at you. When you go to a zoo and you look at a wolf and look him in the eye, the wolf will get pretty angry. He doesn't like it. He feels that this is a very aggressive act. Even your dog at home, when you look at it, he will respond, look at you briefly and says, where's the food? But if you continue to stare at your dog, again your dog will look aside and will not be happy about your stare. But for humans, looking at each other is a very important part of communication. That also includes where we're looking at. We look somebody straight in the eye, or we look above, below, aside. All that is part of the body language. In the portrait, in the close-up, the reflection in the eye is a very important part of the message. An eye without a reflex, without sparkle, can be void of expression, without communication. The eye, when we wake it up with a reflex, this is an important part of human communication. It is the doorway to the soul, to the windmills of our mind. There are many different messages in the reflex in the eye. So, let's look at some of them. An eye reflex as a result of the lighting on the person, on the person's face, standard lighting. Then, the special reflex in the eye as a result of lighting more or less independently from the lighting on the face. This is more complicated, but useful if the story demands a more dramatic lighting interpretation. Some of these reflexes underline human moods and expressions. Other reflexes can convey alien effects, inhuman messages or inhuman effects. 
Let us start looking closer at some of them. In a normal situation, we want to light in such a way that both eyes show a sparkle, a reflex, life. A reflex in the upper part of the iris, not too small, at two o'clock, may be the most common. A reflex from a smaller light source, also at two o'clock, may be interpreted as a hard look, a man's aggressive look, the James Bond look. A point light source will create a tiny reflex, which may be interpreted as hard and aggressive. A small soft light creates a more pleasing effect, but maybe this should be placed higher up in the eye than we see it here, and definitely always outside the center of the pupil. The soft LED panel works somewhat similar. But if placed in the same horizon as the center of the eye, again, this may not look very natural. A vertical fluorescent light creates an interesting effect. Two vertical fluorescent light sources, like these two KinoFlow 4 banks, look interesting, maybe also a little bit strange. An LED ring light, if reflected in the center of the eye, will definitely look strange and aggressive. If shown as a ring around the center of the eye, it has a distinctly alien touch and doesn't look friendly at all. In general, we see that even larger light sources will always result in much smaller reflexes in the eye because of the curvature of the eye. If you want a larger reflex, the light source has to be either very large and or not too far away. A big window reflecting the upper part of the eye may give a very gentle, pleasant reflection, somewhat of a natural look. Going back to the somewhat gentler upper reflex, we had a gentler second reflex at seven o'clock. Maybe the second reflex could be interpreted as a pensive look. A little wind of sadness has passed through the soul. The Brazilians have a wonderful word for this. They call it saudade. She's not going to cry, but maybe she's thinking of something past, something lost. A larger borderless reflex, only in the lower part of the eye, may underline a gentle, amiable, female, loving expression. A cow-eyed look. Now cows have beautiful eyes. And the ancient Greeks paid respect to the goddess Hera by calling her the cow-eyed Hera, Boopsis Hera. Now with a man, the same reflex may express something too soft, too gentle. Maybe he smoked too much of the good grass. With every face, with every eye, these expressions may vary and may have to be explored in a very different way. On an eye with a dark iris, the hard James Bond reflex may never look aggressive. On an eye with brighter color of the iris, you can set lights to brighten the iris and bring out the color. The direction of the look. Looking directly at the camera, he's talking to me. On the side of the camera lens, the interview situation, even a little bit more off camera, it's a dialogue situation. Above camera, a large borderless reflex with a look above the lens could be interpreted as a look into the future. A look below the lens could be a look into the past, remembering. No reflex, no life. Normal lighting, but no reflex, less or no communication. Completely dark sockets of the eye, like Brando and the Godfather, the skull-like look. The more dramatic lighting on the face, and at the same time creating a reflex from a separate light source, 
dedicated only to this effect, less noticeable than the lighting on the face. Then we have strange or alien expressions. Any reflex in the center of the eye can look extremely strange and alien. If it is at the same time a big reflex, it may suggest a blind person's look. I would say the same about strangely shaped reflexes, which form a ring or a cat's eye look. Other expression of unnatural and aggressive kind can be achieved when projecting colored light right into the eyes. You could use two dado lights with imager projection attachments equipped with an iris and color filters. Use two lights in parallel. However, be very careful about the intensity of the light sources and the proximity. Possibly always dim upward from zero Allow the iris to adjust. Both images have to be equipped with identical focal length lenses and you may call this the Dracula effect where the eyes start glowing in a color. Again, caution, do all this with minimum intensity. Two vertical fluorescent light sources like two Kinoflow singles or even four banks may give you the cat's eye look. Also an interesting, strange, or alien effect. An LED ring light or any kind of ring light if reflected in the center of the eye will definitely look strange and aggressive. If shown as a complete ring around the center it certainly doesn't look friendly. Then there are some old-fashioned drama effects like you could see in the old black and white film. Here you play with selective lighting of the eye portion of the face. This cannot be done with a soft light and it gets very position critical with hard sources. Highlighting a selected area around the eyes can give you a dramatic effect as you remember from old black and white films. Such an effect can certainly add to the mood of heightened drama. Here it is important that the borderline between the lit area and the shadow part is flowing to make it more or less unnoticeable. This cannot be done with any kind of soft filter nor with diffusion gels of any kind nor with camera filters and therefore just for this purpose we developed our so-called eye filter based on discussions that we had with Julio Macat, Home Alone. A soft edge filter in three different strengths which can be chosen individually or combined. By the way, this is also a wonderful tool when shooting product, highlighting labels, bringing out details, or flowing unnoticeable accents. To modify this effect, you also play with a choice of different projection lenses on our imager system. Defocusing the lens creates a softer light and shadow transitions, Without adding the eye filter, such an effect may very well remain too noticeable, too brutal. Sparkle in the eye. Sometimes the question is asked, how do I create a sparkle in the eye? Often this effect has more to do with a personal expression of a face, of skin tone, and differences in the eye itself, eye color, eye size, moisture. Now, try a small light source and the result will not be satisfactory. Try a large light source and it cannot be interpreted as a sparkle. Take an LED light string, bunch it up and it may give you some effect, most probably not the one you were dreaming of. Try various kinds of star filters. These may possibly work in tight close-ups. If the filters are strong enough, they will also lower your overall contrast. There's also the possibility to create your own partial star filter where you blacken major areas 
of such a star filter with black paint or shoe polish so that the active function is reduced to just the area that remains unpainted. The blackened area of the filter will work very gently, like a black net filter. The unblackened area may give you a more selective function of the star filter. To look as the art. That I once found on a poster of a Dutch museum. Kieken as the Kunst. Many wonderful expressions in facial lighting or in the expressions of an eye you may simply find. That's the hunter's approach. Very often that may be easier and more natural way. Be it in the gentle reflection of light in the lady's face coming from the tablecloth as a reflex. Other expressions you can help underline or create. Keep your eyes open and never stop learning. This is a wonderful profession.